All right, here is the very first part of the Dad Gad Irish medley. Here's the breakdown. Start off by hitting the top string and doing these hammer on pull off moves. It's going to sound like this. So I'm hammering from the fourth fret to the seventh fret and then pulling them all off. Double pull off. And then we're going to get um, a hammer on from the fourth fret B string to the fifth fret B string and then an open string so that that last note repeats twice, it's redundant. Here's what it sounds like. And then it moves on, it repeats that part again. And I catch this chord, which is using my middle finger and my ring finger on the seventh fret, A string and B string right there. Everything else is open. And I repeat the very first phrase. Then I do a set of pull-offs from the 4th fret to the 2nd fret. On the B string, G string open, D string. I'll play that whole part. Alright, this next section is a wee bit tricky. On the A string, we're going to hammer from the 2nd fret to the 3rd fret, followed by three open strings. 4th fret, pick, then we're going to do a pick pull off from the 2nd fret, open. Switching down to the B string, we're going to go 3rd fret, 2nd fret, pick pull off, open G string. This is how it sounds. Do a variation. And then finally, the last bit, they're mainly pull offs using pinkies and index finger. concludes the very first section of the Dadgad Irish Medley tutorial. More to come as time allows. Alright, this is Dadgad Irish Medley tutorial part two. This section here I've divided up into triplets. Most of these triplets begin with an open string and we are going to employ strict alternate picking. Here's the part. <laughs> Again. Okay, so here's the part. The very first one starts on the D string and it's open to the four to the A string five and then repeat open D string then four Five. Then we're going to switch to the G string and go open four, then five, 
then open G string again, then four or five on the D string. Going back to the D string, open four, open four, then five, then open D, then four or five on the A string. Now here we're gonna slide up to the seven, then four open, that was on the A string. Then going back to the D string, open, four, five, open D, four, five on the D, open G, 4G, 5D. Now here's a cool little part here. It's going to go open G, 4, 6. Now here's a 7, 6, 4, open. On the D string, you're going to go 7, 5, 4, open, 7, on the A string to five. And then we hit the chord. And I will post the tab at the end of this video. Here it is again. All right, good luck with that. All right, welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Tutorial Part 3. Uh, again, the tab is going to be at the end of this video. And I'll play the part for you. Okay, I'll play it real slow. Here's the breakdown. This is a little bit tricky. So you got to count like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. A lot of open strings here and a lot of one finger stuff here. For example, we're going to start off with our index finger on the second fret on the D string and we're going to catch two open strings. Then our index finger is just going to jump up to the A string, second fret, and then catch that note, two open strings. Then we just slide up to the C note catch the D underneath it. So it sounds like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Then we're going to slide up, slide up to the D and catch those three, and then we're going to catch our index finger here on the bass note, one, two, three, then one, two. Open G and A in the bottom. So here's that whole part, how it sounds. repeat that first half of the first phrase. Now here's the tricky part. So you're going to catch this note, all these open strings. The high D string here, my index finger is going to fret it here. And my pinky is going to come up here to the 7th fret and then pick, pull off, pull off, pick, pick. So this is what that part sounds like. Again, again, so I'll play that part all the way up to there. Then we repeat the first phrase, and we catch this chord here. And then you slide that up two frets. So I'll play that whole part. All right, 
Tune in to the next part. All right, welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Part 4. Okay, this part here is a bit of a bridge section. This is the way it goes. <laughs> So for this particular part of the song, my middle finger and my ring finger are going to stay on the guitar the entire time. My, my middle finger is on the D string, my ring finger is on the high A string, and I start off here at the 9th fret, slide down to the 7th fret, but I'm going to put my index finger down on the 6th fret on the G string. So that's the chord there, and I slide that whole thing down to the 5th and 4th fret, slide back up to the 9th, back down this chord, then I slide this whole thing up to the 10th without the pinky, and then I add the pinky, then I slide back down to the 9th, 7th, 5th, and a lot of it has to do with that little thing with the wrist, as far as the timing and the rhythm. Again, here is the tab. All right, welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Tutorial Part Number Five. Um, okay, this is probably the most difficult one of all of the different parts. I'll play it through first. <laughs> So yeah, so bear with me as I try to explain this part, okay? So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to rake up to the 7th fret. Then everything's a pull off, pull off to the 4, pull off open. We're going to do the same thing on the A string, but we're going to pick the 2nd note. So we're going to pick, pick on the 4th and then pull that one off. And then we're going to do a pick on the G string on the 4th fret and then pull off. So you got to like know when to pick and when to pull off. Uh, that section goes like this. Again. So that little pick, pick, pull off thing, we're going to do that ex the same exact picking pattern, but now we're going to go up to the, on the D string, we're going to pick, pull off to the 4, and then pull off open. Then we're going to pick on the D string 5th fret, and then pick on the 4th fret, and then pull that off, and then pick on the D string 2nd fret, Pull that off. So I'll play the whole thing up to there. Ready? Then we're going to repeat that whole thing. Until we get to here, we're going to go. Oh, yeah, I remember. So you're going to go uh, pick, and now we're going to go, we're going to pick this the fourth fret, but then we're going to hammer on and then pull that off. And then the same thing, we're going to pick the fifth fret D string, and then we're going to pick the fourth fret and hammer on pull off, open, and then we're going to hit the harmonics here on the 5th fret. So this is what that part looks like. So I'll do the whole thing up to that point. Again, okay, so now, now we repeat that, the beginning of that phrase. We're going to go back to this chord. Now we slide it all the way up to the 7th fret, then down to the 5th fret. So I'll do the whole thing from beginning to end. Okay, so that's it for part five. Stay tuned for part six.
All right, welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Tutorial Part 6. All right, this is the last part of the first section of the song. It goes like this. All right, so it's just a series of chords. This shape here is 6808, and I mute the top and the bottom strings. I take that shape and I slide it down to the third fret. And you spell that 3505. Five. Then you're going to slide that down to this open position chord, which is going to be 0203. Zero, and then from there to these chords, remember these chords? The 333, um, 777, three, seven, five, five, five. And then the last chord is this one finger chord on the G string, second fret. So I'll play that part again. All right, there you have it. Uh, I plan to getting around to doing the other part of the song here soon, so stay tuned. And good luck. Greetings and welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Tutorial Part 7. This is actually the beginning of the second half of the song, or the B section of the song. Alright, here's the breakdown. Alright, the first thing to take note of is going to be the picking pattern. Okay, and that's also like a rhythmic figure. They, um, this is the chord shape that I'll be using on these strings here. Um, I'll be using this chord down here. And then I slide that up to this chord up here. And then down to this chord there with the D and the bass. Okay. So those are the chord shapes up close. Um, I'm going to divide this into four sections. The very first statement is... And that's just a section of pull-offs. Okay, the second statement is similar to the first, except for the last two notes are reversed. Uh, we're going to go... So it's like open first, and then this chord is second. So here's the first and second statement. Okay, the third statement is just like the first. The fourth statement is the little bit tricky one where it does this chord. Again, that's... And then you just... So the first statement, second, third, fourth. Greetings and welcome to the Dadgad Irish Medley Tutorial Part 8. Here's the breakdown. All right, all of these chords are going to be, our fingers are going to be on the, on the B, tuned down to the A string. Uh, that's our ring finger, ring finger, and our index finger is going to be on the D string. Okay, so we're going to be starting up here at the 9th and 10th fret. Again, my index finger is on the D string, and my ring finger is going to be on the B, tuned down to an A string. Okay? Uh, so the very first chord is this guy. And I'm going to slide up to the... 10th and 12th fret, and then I slide down, so that's the 7th and 9th fret, down to the 5th 
and seventh fret. All the way up to the very first chord, and then sliding down, down to finally the fourth and fifth fret. So these are the chord shapes. And those are the only chords I'm using. Okay, so again, I'll play it really slow. Alright, welcome to the Dad Gad Irish Medley Tutorial Part Number 9. Alright, here's the breakdown. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the left hand here. So the very first chord is going to be essentially a C chord with an added note in the bass. We're going to grab this chord, then we're going to lift it up to the open, then we're going to hand it back down, and we're going to slide up to the fifth fret. And my ring finger is now is going to catch this note here on the G string, right? And then I'm going to lift it off, boom, and catch a harmonic here on the fifth, fifth fret. Then I'm going to repeat that very first statement on this, using this chord here, lifting off and putting it back down. Now I'm going to slide all the way up to the 12th fret using this grip here. Then I'm going to do a little tricky thing called pick, slide, pick, pick, slide, pick, pick, slide, pick, slide, all the way down to the 5th fret. Then I'm going to catch an open string as I go back to the very beginning and do that whole thing all over again. So I'll walk it through you one more time. So we're going to grab this chord here, strum, lift off, then land it back down, slide up to the fifth fret using this chord shape. This ring finger is going to catch the, this G string here on the fifth fret, then it's going to pull it off open and then catch a harmonic here at the fifth fret. I'm going to go back to this chord here, lift off open, put it back down, and then I'm going to come all the way up to the twelfth fret using this chord shape here. And I'm going to do a pick, slide, pick, pick, slide, pick, pick, slide, pick, slide, pick, slide all the way down to the 3rd fret, slide up to the 7th fret, and then I'm going to end on this chord right here. I'll play it for you. All right, welcome to the Dad Gad Irish Medley tutorial part number 10. This is the bridge section. All right, here's the breakdown. All right, here, here are the chords. There's going to be three chords. My middle finger is all the way up here on the seventh, on the uh, ninth fret, top string. It's going to mute the A string there. The D string is going to ring out open in all these chords. My index finger is going to be responsible for the notes on the G string, and my ring finger is going to be responsible for the notes on the high A string. Okay, the middle finger and the ring finger are going to be on the same frets. Uh, that's for the first chord. The second chord I'm going to slide down. My middle finger is going to go down to the 7th fret now. My index finger is going to be on the 6th fret, G, and my ring finger also on the 7th fret. Then I slide down to the 5th fret, um, and then I'm going to put my pinky here on the 6th fret on the G string, and then pull off 
open with my index finger. So this is what it sounds like. Alright, welcome to the final Dadgad Irish Medley tutorial, part number 11. Part number 10 was the bridge we just got done with, and all the rest of the parts of the songs are going to be repeats of the stuff that we've already learned, all except for the very, very last um, progression, which is, I'll play it... <laughs> So here are the breakdown on those chords. Again, um, I'll be using just the index finger and the ring finger for all these. The very first chord in that sequence is all the way down here. Um, my index finger here is going to be on the second fret on the D string. My ring finger here is going to be on the third fret on the high A string. From here I'm going to slide up to the fifth and seventh position. Then I'm going to slide up to the uh, ninth and tenth position. And the very, very last one, I slide up to the 12th and 14th position. This is the way it sounds. So there you have it. The Dadgad Irish Medley tutorial has come to an end. Now... Where is that lucky charm factory? <laughs>